Hey guys, welcome. I'm Rena Wells. If you're new to my channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much and welcome back. Uh, oops, my little quartz fell. I've got a little setup here. Uh, I wanted to introduce these beautiful selenite wands that I got. One's, uh, this is divine feminine energy, this is masculine energy, and I've got a little twin flame quartz in the middle there. And um, we're going to be doing about uh, Mars coming out of retrograde, going direct in a couple of days. And the reason I'm doing this right now, I'm just going to smudge a little bit as we get started. Um, the reason why we are doing this in regards to mostly from the perspective of masculine energy within yourself. So this is not particularly my readings in regards to a person. This is about inner union energies, but please know that I do channel he and she, and please use those types of labels, but just know that that's just the way that it comes through because that's how my brain's been conditioned. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do, this is mostly about masculine energy because Mars is a masculine energy. It is going direct. That means it's coming out of retrograde. It means that there's a lot of shifts that are moving in karmic energies. So let's take a look at divine masculine energy right now. Let's take a look and see. Yeah, Spirit's pulling me to this deck here and the Moonology deck right now. So let's start with these and let's take a look. This is Divine Masculine Energy coming into Mars Goes Direct. Please, Spirit, what messages do you have for us, please, in regards to masculine energy? And we're going to start here, guys, uh, with headspace, heart space, intentions, and outcome. Those are my placements. That's how I work. That's how I read. So let's take a look here, Spirit. Thank you. What is going on with masculine energy for the collective, please? Okay, anything that would like to fall out. Uh, headspace for masculine energy. For Mars going direct. Thank you. We have the spiral dancer. So we'll take a look at that in a bit. Heart space for masculine energy. We have the web weaver. Intentions and actions. Thank you. We have sisters of the season. I'll go over these in a minute, guys, before we clarify outcome we have the fire prince optimism and aggression okay so a little fire stuff going on here which really comes in with mars energy and masculine energy and fire energy but in the heart space we've got some tempering energy that's going on so let's take a look at moonology and we'll go through them sorry guys i do like to shuffle on camera so you guys can see exactly what i'm doing <clears throat> but they are pre-shuffled so we don't need to do them for too long. Okay, so what is going on in headspace here, please, spirit? For masculine energy, we have a win-win forecast. What about the heart space for masculine? Mars going direct. Okay, we've got the rest of these coming out. We have work through your fears in the heart space. We also have action. You're very close to achieving your goal. And luck is on your side for the outcome. Okay, so let's take a look at the headspace here before we clarify, you guys. We've got the spiral dancer. And what I'm getting here is with the spiral dancer, as I'm looking at this with the win-win forecast, full moon in Libra, <clears throat> this is about relationships. I know there were some Libra energies that were happening in the collective. I Don't quote me on that, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure. The spiral dancer is about... Uh, circuitous root perception changing perception things changing going round and round and round and round and round in order to figure out right the win-win forecast the 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 possibility so what i'm seeing in masculine energy and what what mars is bringing direct in the masculine mind right now is you know the the back and forth that happens with masculine energy the uh, the the it's almost like you want to hit your head because you're just running in circles over and over and over. And that's what the spiral dancer is about. It's uh, about finally figuring things out like, oh, I've been going around and around and around for so long. Masculine energy is coming into an awareness. So in the mind space, in the heart space, we have work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio, which is coming out, which I've been pulled to do a reading for. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe. Again, you want to know all my infos down below. I forgot to say that. But here we have in the heart space, synchronicity, divine intelligence, cause and effect. So this is and this is how I'm seeing masculine is tapping into divine feminine energy. See how she's standing there um, at the edge, edge of a cliff. 
uh, kind of looking at the magic and the possibility and really tapping into feminine energy is masculine energy doing that feeling divine feminine energy on the inside and working through the heart space and through any fears. So I'm seeing a real nice balance coming in for masculine for divine masculines here. We've got like that headspace finally being cleared and the heart space finally trusting, which is beautiful. We have here in actions, we have sisters of the seasons, cycles of growth, natural law and divine order. So this is, you know, natural placement, perfect alignment with spirit. You know, when you follow not your spirit guides, not even your angels, guys, I'm all about God force. I'm all about life force energy. I'm not about talking to your guides. I'm like, let's just go right to the get-go because we don't want to be manipulated in energy, being honest. Um, you go to God, God will hear you. You go to spirit, spirit will hear you. This is like you're very close to achieving your goal. This is about ending cycles of karma, natural law, divine order. It's also a number 817. Okay, this is about tapping into feminine energies. Feminine energies are rising, you guys. The feminines are the ones that are opening this new portal into Age of Aquarius. It's not masculine energy. This is about masculines learning how to completely surrender to the creative force of the womb of the mother. That's where everything is created, is in the womb, okay? The outcome here for Divine Masculine coming into this Mars going direct we have, excuse me, a little uh, fire prince here, number 40, which is about building foundations. And look at this. We have another four here in the heart space. <clears throat> we have a five here in the head, which is changing. An eight, which is the uh, achieving your goal and actions and intentions. So that's tapping into the infinite. And we end abundance as well. And here four, we have which is also like eight. We have four, eight, four, which is foundations. Optimism and aggression being very, you know, and I'm not seeing this in a negative way. This is like, I've lit my torch and I'm standing my ground and I'm doing what I need to do. And this is new moon in Sagittarius, which is luck is on your side. Okay. Taking aim and going for it. Yeah. And I'm really feeling this. It may not be like actually like really going for it. What I'm getting is like standing ground at what, divine masculine really desires at this time all right i'm digging out these guys i got these light seer tarot whoop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. everything's falling off my head my headset oops okay sorry guys <laughs> i have a new setup so i didn't want to be stuck in my room i was doing clients all day yesterday and i just i can't st i need to seriously guys i need to like build my house in mexico and get my shit in order build my studio like this is my plan i'm like i can't i can't do this condo living anymore all right here we go guys i'm sorry guys if you're hearing me moving around i'm trying to fix this headset all right all right spirit let's take a look at divine masculine energy what is going on in regards to mars going direct for our subscribers here and anyone that's watching this video thank you spirit let's take a look I'm going to take a look at the bottom and the top. Okay, we have the magician in the headspace. We have the nine of cups in reverse in the heart space. We have the six of pentacles in reverse in the action and intentions. And we have temperance as the outcome. Clarifying. Take the top of the deck now. Clarifying the magician. We have the nine of swords in reverse. Wow. Okay, coming out of pain, wanting to manifest now. We have the heart space, ending things of overindulgence, okay? And seven of pentacles, looking at waiting. Where am I going to invest in my heart? Where am I going to put my heart's energy? We have actions. We have not giving to certain situations here. Six of pentacles, clarifying that. We have the sun, divine masculine energy right there. And we have outcome, temperance. We clarifying that we have page of pentacles. Okay, guys. So what I'm seeing here is <clears throat> let's start with the headspace. We've got masculine energy really looking, wanting to win. Okay. Really wanting to step up. Okay. We have done with the cycling in the mind, the spiral dance in the head, right? Ending those things in the head, wanting to come out of pain here with the magician and the nine of swords in reverse let's clarify what does masculine want to come out of pain about and why does masculine what enlightenment have they gained what cycle has ended and what is this magician here please spirit 
They want to manifest. They want to create. And that's standing in divine masculine energy, you know, wanting to create in 3D uh, space. And realizing when you're in pain, you can't create, right? Because fear and pain can't be in a divine love situation. That's why um, <clears throat> you can't create. And you're going to create, you know, lack if you're in a painful place. Okay, we have the, clarifying this, we have the Knight of Cups in reverse. Just show you these. These cards are amazing. We have the High Priestess in reverse. And we have the Wheel. So fate has definitely come in here, guys, for Divine Masculine. They're not offering anything right now, but they're definitely opening up, opening up um, that curtain. You know, the High Priestess. Usually she hides things behind that curtain. She keeps her visions to herself. I'm hearing Fleetwood Mac. <laughs> I keep my visions to myself. Really revealing things and being honest, not pushing things away anymore, trusting the intuition, revealing the secrets from spirit that are coming through. And the wheel is turning now. So fate is really coming in. Spirit's really coming in, pulling divine masculines out of the headspace, giving them that clarity, realizing, okay, it's time for you to manifest. But they're not offering anything right now. This can be also in reverse. The Knight of Cups to me is usually player energy, but that's really about stopping player energy. And what do they want to manifest here, Spirit? Okay, being single, independent. That's what they're working on, all right? Being completely on their own, which is beautiful. Especially if they're coming out of karmic situations, you guys. I mean, whoever wants a rebound, <laughs> all right? It, especially if this is a single car and this is the energy that I've been feeling a lot is a lot of masculines are like I need to figure me out I need to know who I am so that's really beautiful all right let's take a look I'm gonna put these back because I want to you know what spirits like leave them whatever comes out is meant to come out so I've been doing that a bit lately, trying to change up my tarot, but I mean, I've been doing tarot for so long, I'm just going to go with how I, <laughs> what I know. Okay, so in the heart space, guys, we have uh, divine intelligence coming in for structure, uh, trusting intuition, trusting the feelings, working through fears, new moon in Scorpio, that's coming up on the 15th, I believe. We also have ending over indulgence and looking at where to invest. This is really beautiful because the nine of cups in reverse it's usually everything material that you desire, you know, oh, this is beautiful, but it's all that earth stuff, you know, what happens here is when it's in reverse, it's like, I don't want to overindulge, I don't want to drink anymore, I don't want to party anymore, I don't want to like do this like lifestyle, this is how everyone else lifes, you know, people who are awakened and working on themselves, we don't life this way, you know, it's not, I'm not saying you don't go out and have a good time, but what I'm saying is it just because it it doesn't become the focus of your life. Your life becomes different. You invest in things. You're looking at what can I plant that's going to nourish and grow things and actually bear fruit in the future. So let's see. Clarify this for divine masculine stepping into divine feminine energy, feeling divine intelligence spirit, looking at where to invest. Wow. Looking at the two of cups, you guys. Beautiful. Looking at who I feel the divine masculine is feeling divine feminine energy here knowing like who can I invest in who can see me in the same place where this is re re reciprocal is what I'm getting four of cups coming out of apathy okay and we have the tower in reverse so this is you know a fear of change there's still a fear of change that's happening here the tower in reverse ah, this card is so cute like this little chipmunk I can't even like I'm like I feel so bad for him like God's like burning down his little hill <laughs> it's so cute but working through your fears and that's what's happening with the new moon so this new moon coming up in scorpio is really for divine masculines in working through their fears in regards to relationships let's take a look at that clarify the tower here in reverse with the two of cups please spirit they have a fear probably about with divine feminine haha <laughs> seven of cups in reverse i flip them guys they flip upwards towards me how they flip to me i read and then i give them to you so that's just how i set up so seeing things clearly Okay, holding strength, withholding themselves. Why is that spirit? What are they afraid of? They're seeing things clearly. What are they afraid of? They're afraid of the Ten of Cups, guys. <laughs> Isn't that the thing? Listen, if you're a divine masculine watching this, please don't be afraid of the power. Like divine feminines are, uh, are tired of men being afraid of them or divine masculines, I should say, because it's not a gender thing, but divine masculine energy being afraid of their power. This is what they're afraid of. 
this abundance, pure love. But you know, that's what spirit always says, right? People are more afraid of their power than they are afraid of the darkness. We can sit in the darkness. We fell in consciousness. We're accustomed to uh, dark consciousness. So when we come into and see how powerful this connection really is, it's like, oh, crap. You know, people think like, well, if it's a divine love, like run to it. It's like, no, that's shit scary. <laughs> so we get it. We get it. But masculine is really stepping into this, but they're afraid. Um, yeah, let's pull a star seed card on that, guys. I got these uh, star seed oracles. They're amazing. So I may have to read from the book. Let me take a sip of water here. Because I don't know them yet, but I can go by my intuition. But let's see. Masculine energy being afraid of this Ten of Cups spirit. What is that about? And I mean, I feel like they're just tapping into feminine energy. So they may just be realizing things about feminine energy. So let's take a look here. What is this fear? My beautiful ancestors. All my ancestors are from the stars, guys. My real ancestors, not my human ancestors, my star family <laughs> ancestors. What is going on here? Why are they afraid? And we've got these two wanting to fall out. Came out right away. We have star and <laughs> guys, love it. Star ancestors came out as I'm shuffling. This is what came out. So they're answering. Okay, my ancestors are answering here. This is hidden secrets, lost wisdom, and look a little deeper. So this is all about the ancient ways on the earth of divine love, twin flame love. You know, Jesus, Pravarti, Shiva, Mary Magdalene, Archangel Michael has a divine counterpart. Everybody is created with a divine counterpart. Depending if they're incarnated, I think that's a different story. But this is ancient times, right? This is spirit saying that the divine masculines are very aware of this ancient power and how powerful it is. So it's not necessarily a relationship or being in contact with divine feminine. What it is, is this power. Because a lot of people haven't tapped into this and I'm being honest this pathway is very small very dark very uh it's a it's only a very narrow path because there's only so much potency that can come into the planet we have the great severance so it's also they're afraid because of uh they're getting rid of stuff right now okay there's karmic energies that are being severed there's uh, Mars, and that's the Mars energy. Wow, conflict and softening. To They're learning to soften to this love, okay? See, this is Mars energy as well. So it's not necessarily a fear of divine feminine energy. They're fearful of, one, this powerful potency of what this connection is. And two, they're also in transition of severing things that don't, excuse me, serve them. <clears throat> All right, let's move on here. What is going on here between, uh, this is the intention here. So we have masculine energy with the sun and not giving to situations. Um, we have cycle giving to situations that no longer serve. This card is, yeah, cycles of growth, natural law. So this is divine order. This is coming into alignment. This is what they want to be in alignment of their soul. Sorry, because I have to close this window because there's too many too much noise um so yeah let's clarify here because they're becoming really aware of what they've been giving in their life okay they they've become illuminated they're recognizing that they're very close at, at achieving their goals in life of becoming in fully alignment to their soul and their higher self so what i'm seeing here is their higher self is trying to merge with their heart and come in and activate those energy bodies that's why we have this severing that's why we have this ascension that's happening that's why the star ancestors are here helping with that they've answered <laughs> i love how that popped out so let's take a look here at illumination and not giving to certain situations what is masculine energy illuminated to wow lots coming out here okay <clears throat> all right we have the queen of swords in reverse this is karmic energies the queen of swords is always my karmic queen of swords and queen of wands usually is but when it's in reverse it's very narcissistic type of energy we also have ace of cups we have five of cups in reverse and we have the three of swords in reverse. So masculine energy is healing heart energy, healing betrayal, healing regret, coming out of this place of lethargic uh, apathy, not taking action, just settling energy. That's what I'm getting. And really moving. This is really beautiful. Really 
So they definitely aren't a transition piece here. So as Mars goes direct, it's going to be I, that much more powerful spirit is saying right because we're just coming out of retrograde so it's about this love and blocking karmic energies that aren't serving them clarify this ace of cups what is this love Ooh, wow guys making a dis not juggling anymore that wavering energy that came up in the other reading if you go back uh to the last reading i can't remember which one the the, the first one that i have done in a long time not juggling anymore, not wavering anymore. Look at this eight of wands moving forward passionately knight of wands, lots of passion, lots of communication, being in his heart center, feeling this energy, knowing that this is who this is beautiful, that this is the love that he wants. Okay, it's going to take a little time. Let's take a look at three of swords and five of cups in reverse. They're still healing. So let's take a look like what are they healing here? Okay, we have, uh, things have been really hard, and they want a reunion. Okay, we have three of cups, friendship. So they're going to start off as friendship. But um, when they do decide to come into feminine energy, but they're looking at what they, how they want to celebrate life. How do they, what friends do they want in their life? What community do they want to build in their life? Because it's been really hard. This energy that they've been feeling and coming out of, you know, lack and everything else, it's been very, very difficult for masculine, okay? Okay, let's take a look here at the outcome. We have temperance with the page of pentacles, which is beautiful. This is like balancing, reconciliation, uh, harmony, peace, and a brand new offer coming through. We also have, you know, masculine energy is the fire prince being very optimism, aggressive, but in a good way, standing his ground, new moon in Sagittarius and luck. Spirit will give the masculine luck, right? Because when you come into alignment with your soul and your soul's calling and you let go of those judgments in your head, you know, of well, who you think you're meant to be with or what you think your mission is supposed to be. And, you know, and there's nothing wrong with that. But you guys, the ones that are on a twin flame journey, your destiny was written before you came here. And so a lot of people on the planet, yes, they can choose a path and manifest the shit out of it. Like, honestly, they can. But when you're on this journey, it does not work. And you can try and try and try. And Spirit's bringing through this message right now to let you know that it's because you already made a very strong contract to ascend humanity. And so, yeah, you had an opportunity. If you're watching this spirit saying you had an opportunity up until this point to create what you wanted. That's why you, that's why you're here now, because that way does not work for you because you're now aligning to your contract. You're aligning to your real soul purpose. So I want you to make that distinction for those that are on this journey. I know sometimes it feels like, wait a minute, <laughs> How is it all these other people can choose whatever path they want and create it and I'm pulled back to this connection? It's because this connection is showing you how to heal yourself. It's showing you divinity. It's showing you the true alignment of your soul and it's showing you how to get closer to God. Okay, because that's what it's all about. So let's take a look here at balance and this offer. What is this offer in temperance here, Spirit, for Divine Masculine? Standing, he's standing his ground. Masculine energy is standing ground. Luck is on his side. Whoa, 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 whoa. Emperor energy was the only one that flipped up, guys. Emperor, being the man, the family man, taking control of the situation, rising up as a divine masculine energy, okay? Love the cow head there. It's a little symbolic for me. I see cow. I saw a cow head on my twin the first time I did ayahuasca with uh, white buffalo skin. So very sacred energy that's coming through here with the chess, with the chess piece. How am I going to play this piece? Being very strategic, right? That's what masculines do, right? They take their time in the physical and they make their, you can't force a masculine. You can't force a masculine. But when they are aligned, they will be aligned to God and creation and the divine feminine at the same time. Distorted masculine, they think with the other brain, guys. They don't think with their, they don't think with their spirit or their head. But divine masculine thinks with all of their heads. Okay, let's just put it that way. Okay, we have, uh, look at this, thinking of the Queen of Cups. This is divine feminine energy, guys, being emotional with the feminine. Six of Cups in reverse, closing off the past so they can offer something. 
breaking down a home life. Some of them are breaking down foundations. Look at this. They know they can no longer wait. Okay. Cannot wait anymore. Cannot stay stagnant anymore. Three of pentacles. They want to work waiting for that green light. So they want to offer something. What is this offer spirit? What is this offer? What is this offer? What is this offer? Look at this. They're waking up. They're ending a foundation right now. We have the Hermit in reverse, the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This offer is coming, okay, as they're breaking down family um, ancestry line karma, breaking down a family. Some of them may be in a karmic situation, breaking down foundations. That's come out with the Four of Wands in reverse as well. We also have, like, not working and focusing on you know they're waking up not focusing on the stuff that they're ending so what are they let's ask what are they focusing on what is masculine energy focusing on then oh they're focusing on their fears guys oh, my whole deck just fell on the ground seriously look at this they're facing their fears of abandonment that's what they're focusing on that's right divine masculines you do that because you got to deal with this abandonment shit <laughs> i can't even this is good this is this is awesome they're not even focusing on divine feminine that's good that's not what they need to do they need to focus on their life they need to figure out how to heal their abandonment issues and their fears of walking with their intuition and how they're being shown okay so really beautiful energy guys okay let's take a look at what is going on i'm gonna do two separate uh, I don't want to do the interconnection spread. I'm going to do spirit is guiding me. Let me just pause the video in the meantime while I clean this up. Okay, guys, I just wanted to clean that up. I didn't want to record the part of cleaning up all this stuff. So let's take a look at the karmic situation. Okay. Divine masculine dealing with the karma in his life. If there is a karmic partner, um, a situation can be a job can be karma can be anything. So let's take a look at the karma situation. How, yeah, we're going to, we're going to do it separately. We're going to do a reading for divine masculine towards karma. And then we're going to see how the karma is responding. Okay. We won't do a reading for that spirit is bringing through. We're going to just see how karma actually respond is responding to what is happening with divine masculine. And then we're going to do some healing messages. Okay. So let's start with the, I'm going to start with the, yeah. Okay. Spirit's bringing up this one. Okay. I'm just going to clear the space a little bit again, because I don't, I've noticed, guys, I've gotten very sensitive. So the lower that I go into these karmic energies where my vibration is going, um, it gets a little hard to go low. It's kind of like, you know, your guides can only come so low down. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like the more that we ascend here on the earth, it gets harder to do detailed physical 3D manifestation stuff. So that's why it's harder to do readings. It's not pulling the energy down. It's what's happening in the 3D. It's the amalgamation of all the energies together. Okay. From high to low. Whew, look at that smoke. See, that's clearing. That's clearing, guys. That Palo Santo does not smoke like that. That is uh, some karmic energy coming through. See how it's clearing the space already? Look, I can't even make that up. All right. Let's take a look at the karmic. This is Divine Masculine Energy. As, as Mars goes direct, please spirit for the viewers. What is going on with the karmic energy? What is going on with the karmic energy? Divine Masculine towards karma. Thank you. What is going on with the Divine Masculine towards karma? What is going on with Divine Masculine towards karma? Whew. What is going on? Here we go. masculine energy towards karma what well, we've got quite a bit so spirit is saying we're doing three and three intuition 22 we have synchronicity 87 i know some of you like the numbers we have moderation 14 okay on top of that we have patience okay they're learning to be patient with their intuition now this is uh three cards came out each so we've got situation uh present moment action and 
uh, nearest outcome that's already manifesting, Spirit says, this is the outcome that's manifesting, okay? We have domestic harmony and we have forgiveness here. Okay, a lot of blue and purple happening in here, but the sacral is very prominent with masculine towards the karmic situation. Masculine energy is really using their intuition here and their patience to trust what they're feeling. So if they're dealing with a karmic situation, they're really in their sacral, right? They're really in their uh, sexual creative force energy passion energy and really looking at their intuition if this karmic situation feels good in their passion in their desires okay something has happened with the sexual energy is what i'm getting for divine masculine i feel like i need to pull a romance angel on that because what i'm feeling here is whatever they were attracted to you know the zaza zing and the physical attractiveness something is as dissipated in that it doesn't feel good anymore and they're using their intuition to figure out in the sacral what feels good and I'm feeling it's the energy is what's fine. It's very attractive for these masculines. So let's take a look at the masculine energy here. Divine masculine spirit towards the karmic energy. What is the sacral sexual energy here spirit that's happening? Thank you. What is happening here? With the sex, it's sexual chemistry is what I'm getting. Okay, we've got quite a bit coming out just for the sacral guys. Okay, we've got four cards. We have safe. So they don't feel with the karmic energy if it is it safe for them to love in this situation. Okay, look at this. We have release your ex. Okay, we have trust and give your relationship a chance. So. We're going to clarify, but these energies are very interesting because like I was saying here, it's sort of like running. It's like my little table. This table has been in my family since I was like a little kid. It's like one of the first pieces my mom bought <laughs> when she first came to Canada. Anyways, um, here we have releasing your ex. Oh, look at this. This is two, two, two guys. I just noticed this. Patience and intuition, two, two, two. Wow, look up two, 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 okay? They're looking at this karmic situation. It's not safe to love. They need to release this, okay? So it's not a safe place. They need to trust what their intuition is saying of where they need to give a relationship a chance. And I feel that's their, their twin flame, their divine feminine energy, okay? Yeah. So let's see what the star seeds have to say about this. We're going to go headspace first, okay, guys? Then we're going to do the same thing for the heart space. I mean, sorry, the first cards for the situation, okay? This is the situation. Then we'll do it for the for the present moment. Okay, Starseed family, what do you have to say about this in regards to masculine energy towards karma that they're recognizing that they're being patient with the advice that they're getting from spirit about releasing? Thank you. Okay. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This is beautiful. They have been messaged. Messenger from spirit. This is what I'm saying. They've gotten the download. Serious energy bring harmony and balance. They have been guided by their intuition. You guys, these masculines are being guided. We have here whale and orca elders. Share your song, frequency of sound, and going deep. The orca is beautiful. Orcas, if you look it up in indigenous uh, native I can't remember the tribe. I'm sorry, but they're out in Vancouver, British Columbia. I have uh, a necklace from out there, but the orcas are all about twin flames, right? Um, this is about going deep into the ocean. They dive super deep into the ocean, okay? So they've gotten messages about keep going deeper. Have patience. Trust where you are being guided. Look, they have baby steps. Follow your intuition before it makes sense action so they're being guided here we're going to clarify a little bit more i'm going to use my star man deck yeah these are created by david bowie i don't know if you guys knew that but yeah i'm all about the stars you guys <laughs> all about the star i think when you got to be a shaman you got to be you got to know that you come from the stars basically <laughs> I've accepted it now. It's like, okay, I'm not from here. Um, let's take a look here. Baby steps. So let's take a look at masculine energy. They are really learning to trust this intuition piece. 
let's ask about them towards karma what are the details here the tarot really pulling the details what's going on with the karmic situation about releasing the spirit what messages are they getting how are they diving deep what is the situation and their karmic situation thank you let's just see what comes out guys look at this first card out the emperor masculine energy yes you know how sexy this like this energy feels sexy to me guys it's like really are these masculines really rising up in this in this energy is this happening like please <laughs> it's not happening in my world but we'll see emperor emperor what is going on here with the emperor really knowing about releasing stuff in this karmic energy we're going to see how the karma is karmic is responding as well, guys. Look at this four of wands in reverse, breaking down home life structures. We are also having three of cups in reverse. OK, so they are canceling events, canceling celebration. Three, and it's also three, three, two threes came out together, guys. Third party situation. So you are dealing with karma, karmic partner. We also have three of swords in reverse. So we have ending coming out of heartbreak. Wow. Let's see how the karma karmic partner is responding to this. Now I'm using the after, sorry, the before tarot karma energies aren't as advanced as twins, right? They are a just learning. They're de they're, they're clearing their karma. A lot of karmic uh, situations are just, uh, they're not that powerful. I'll be honest. I mean, is there's nothing wrong with that. You're an old soul, you're not an old soul. I mean, you can still be an old soul, but you have gifts or you don't have gifts. And there's for a reason because of your placement on the earth. Doesn't make you better or worse. Doesn't make the karmic person a bad person. I'm telling you, saying, guys, I'm not about being evil here, but it's just fact, right? You can't help it. Like, And when you have gifts as a divine feminine or a divine masculine, it's really hard to balance that out too because everybody shuns you for it because... That saying, mediocrity attacks excellence every time, right? Keeps people in their egos. All right, let's take a look here, guys. What is going on with the karmic's response to the divine masculine spirit? He is ending heartbreak, ending overindulgence, ending things that don't serve him. He's trusting his intuition. He is patient. He's breaking down foundations. He is standing in masculine power, taking baby steps in his life. How is the karma, karmic partner, or the karmic situation responding? <laughs> wow. Listen, I feel these karmics are, are somewhat awakened, okay? I have been getting that a lot in clients that I've been working with. It's not like they're evil. And you guys, take a look and listen to, listen to this Twin Flame series, you know? If you're really on this journey, take a look. Go deep. This isn't just about readings, you know what I mean? This is um, deep work. This is deep work. Look at this. The karmic sees clearly seven of cups in reverse okay sees clearly with the higher fint this higher level of commitment god is coming in lessons being learned okay from the past nostalgic about the past marriage commitment seeing clearly that this is completely imbalanced temperance in reverse okay and look at this thing seven of swords in reverse with the empress in reverse getting very honest that they've been trying to keep divine feminine at bay okay whatever they've been doing they've been trying to keep it at bay listen these karmics know okay they're getting honest with themselves about what this connection is because we have the empress in reverse and we have the emperor that that's out here right they're a pair they're a match um four of wands in reverse right imbalance they know these karmics know they're like I need to close out the past, you know, that I'm learning my lesson. So this karmic energy sees what's happening with the masculine and is accepting things and is getting very honest with themselves about the imbalance that it's created in their own life, you know, and learning this, these lessons. Let's clarify the hierophant here. What are these lessons that the karmic's learning? What is this hierophant doing here for the karmic energy? Whoa. Yeah, spirit says take it. We'll just take it, guys. Let's see. We have the hermit in reverse, waking up to the lessons. Okay. We have the devil, toxicity, entrapment, realizing that they've been playing with darker forces. 
entrapment, things that aren't good for them, addictions. They could be, I feel a lot of these karmics either have addictions, could be sex, drugs, uh, drinking, dancing, partying, going out, um, that kind of thing. We have uh, Knight of uh, Swords here. So there has been something abrupt that's happened. Look at this. Divine Masculine came in with some instable, made him unstable, okay, in some quick communication. Wow, look at this. About abandoning the situation. Oh my God, look at this. About abandoning the situation. Six of Swords, okay, and going to peace. And it made them unstable because this means finances as well too, right? And this is really just, it, it was abrupt. It was quick. It's like, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. And and the karmics realize that. They don't, how are they feeling? How are the karmics feeling about this situation here? Whoa, 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 whoa. King of Cups upright. They feel it. They see that the masculine's heart, where the masculine's heart is at. Look at this, some uncomfortable communication, page of swords about their curiosity, wanting to know more. Okay, these karmics know they're trying to come out of their own regret and their own sadness. So I'm not really surprised here. I think they're, I think it's just a time for healing right now. Yeah, look, self-love and apologies. Okay, so I don't feel that this karmic situation is really hanging on. I feel like they're really trying to let go and trying to heal in themselves and awaken. Okay, so let's take a look now clear this up let's take a look at the second piece okay guys sorry guys i can't be one of those readers that has like three of the same deck <laughs> i'm sorry i have no room my kids are getting so big and i'm creating a, a separate room for my daughter right now it's my son's birthday tomorrow and it's just i just don't have I don't even know what I do with my life before my days go by. Okay, let's <laughs> let's go on to the second part. Situation right now with Divine Masculine with the karmic energy. We have synchronicity, domestic harmony. There's been a lot of synchronistic things that are happening in regards to these Divine Masculines want to create a certain type of domestic harmony in their life. We have 10, which is also ending of cycles. We have 15, is that 14? Hold on, I'm so bad. 8 plus 7 is, yeah, 6. Uh, goes to 50, yeah, it's a 6, I believe. So this is manifestation, love. 6 breaks down to love, which is the lovers, right? So it's ending, uh, ending certain domestic type of harmony in regards to uh, synchronicities and things that are manifesting in their life. So let's see. Divine Masculine Energy, what is going on here with Divine Masculine towards the Karmic, from Mars, from Mars going direct, thank you Spirit, what is going on currently right now in the present moment, any messages here for present moment, for domestic harmony, lots coming out guys, alright, things have been very hard, Six of Swords in reverse, okay, super hard, Look at this. Six, six. We got lots of sixes here, guys. That means love, manifestation, uh, things happening in the physical. Don't think six, six, is, six, six, six is an evil number. Six, six, six. If you look at your atoms, it's six carbon, six, six electrons, six neutrons, six protons to create carbon. And what's carbon? Physical matter, physical manifestation. Six, six. Not evil. Um, it's also about love. Things have been very hard. Wanting a situation to give reci reciprocity in. This situation with a karmic was not reciprocal. Energetically, it cannot be reciprocal with a karmic ever because they can't meet you in the depths, right? We have three of wands in reverse. <coughs> Excuse me. Not um, waiting anymore, knowing that they can't sit around and wait for this. Look at this. Two threes again, guys. Third party situation, right? Three of Pentacles. This ma this masculine is like, where do I want to put my energy to work and to build? And I can't wait in this situation with this karmic situation anymore because it's not reciprocal. It's been very difficult for me. We have Seven of Cups. What are my options? It's causing a lot of confusion. What is this confusion for Divine Masculine towards the karmic? Seven of Cups. What is this confusion? The Page of Cups in reverse. It's emotionally unstable, guys. Not what he wants. It's emotionally unstable. It's not self-loving. 
it doesn't honor himself. Okay. So what are his actions? So what are, what is his actions here in this? So divine masculine here. This is what I'm getting. He, this harmony and this lifestyle that he's been living has not been um, good for him. Okay. For the masculine energy. Uh, can't wait anymore. Just can't wait. It's been too hard. Want something reciprocal. What is this wanting something reciprocal in domestic harmony spirit? This masculine wants to build a foundation. Okay. Look at this. Three. We have three threes on the ground, guys. Three of cups. Reunion. Friendship. We have the death card. Masculine's putting an end. And we saw this already. An end to things that are no longer serving. Walking away. Eight of cups from things from the karmic situation. And wanting to move towards friendship and a reunion and community building together. <sighs> harmony. It's more of the energy of harmony, but we also have the three of pentacles here for building together. So, yeah. Masculine's done. Masculine's done. Let's see what the karma's response to this is, the karmic energy. How is the karmic energy responding to masculine right now? So masculine is like, I'm choosing love for myself. I don't want this emotional instability. It's too hard. I want something reciprocal. I'm walking away. I'm looking for a reunion. I'm transforming. And I'm actioning this for my home life. This is about home life, guys. This is masculine wants a home life, wants build foundations, okay? Let's see. How is the karma's response here to the masculine? How is the karmic responding? Wow. We have the seven of cups again, guys. Okay, so seeing very clearly. See, this karma sees everything. The dream has ended, guys. The illusions have ended. It's over. The karma knows. The karmic situation knows. They know. They see very clearly. They may not have wanted. Look how he's like covering. I don't want to see it. I don't want to pay attention to this. But it's there. It's upside down. It's clear. Okay, we also have temperance. Having patience. Patience and harmony. They don't want to bring uh, drama, trauma, drama to the situation. Okay, look at this. Devil in reverse. Divorce. Ending karmic situations. Six of cups in reverse again. Guys, I can't. With the synchronicities, right? Closing off cycles and going within the hermit. Hallelujah. They're doing the work, guys. These karmic people, like karmic situations are doing their work. And it's good because everybody deserves love in this situation. Right? You can't help when you're on this journey, you guys. I'm telling you, this twin flame path, you can't help. You can't help the depth that it goes to. And it's never ending because it's God force creation, right? God's love never ends. It's always going to be a discovery. It's always going to be to the depth. It's always going to be all of that. Where a karma situ a karmic situation, when you're on this journey, it doesn't work because he hit a plateau, right? Okay, let's take a look here. What is going on with divine masculine energy towards the karmic situation? Let's take a look at the, yeah, let's take a look at moderation and forgiveness. So they're trying to be, and that's a number five. They're trying to be very moderate in their life. Balance, uh, not overindulging, trying to really watch their habits. Try to be very uh, in a place of forgiveness with themselves. It's also a six. 96 comes down to a six. Which is physical manifestation again, which we were seeing here. And we have a five here for change. Sorry, I need a sip of water here, guys. <clears throat> so being very balanced with their choices, being in a self-forgiving place, not holding on to this, you know, <clears throat> shame and guilt, which is really awesome. So let's see here. What's going on with masculine energy here towards the karmic situation for Mars? Going direct. What is going on here for masculine energy? Whoa, 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 whoa. Ugh, guys, when these things come popping out. <clears throat> okay. First card out was seven cups in reverse. Ending dreams, seeing things clearly. That's come out too. This one has come sideways, so I'll take it sideways. It's the eight of pentacles. So they're really working on their focus. What do they want to work on? What are they not focusing on? And and I really feel this is because of they're breaking down home life as well. Because we also have here the ten of pentacles came out again. Okay. In reverse. So uh, ending old family patterns breaking down a family structure, doing self-love, apologizing when they need to apologize, being emotionally balanced, giving themselves this love, okay, uh, forgiving themselves. Look at this. 
and things haven't been healing being completely we have the devil upright toxicity and the star in reverse so there's certain toxicities that still haven't healed guys this is why they're being moderate right now okay that's why this is going to take a little while as mars goes direct for them to continue clearing a lot of this karmic energy let's take a look what's still holding up the masculine here with this devil what's still holding up the masculine with the entrapment with the devil instability so we have ace of pentacles in reverse instability and ending a relationship two of cups in reverse so they're still healing okay from ending certain situations with karma right so they haven't fully healed here clarify the star in reverse they haven't fully healed um that's why the fool is in reverse that's why this new beginning isn't starting with divine feminines there's still a lot of healing these masculines though they gotta come correct right these masculines know that they got to life get their life in order, right? Nobody wants a boy. Nobody wants a boy. Do you want Do you guys want band children? <laughs> that's why I left my ex my my marriage. And that's why I stopped dating men for so long. <laughs> it's like I can't deal with these man children. I'm doing I'm I'm going I'm going to explore my interests with women seriously. That was a whole other story, but <laughs> I'm still down for that, honestly, because there's too many man children in this world. Um, all right, let's take a look here. Let's take a look at what is going on in regards to the karma, the karmic situation responding to this, because this is the masculine really being moderate, uh, choosing themselves, loving themselves, healing from ending. They're still a little trapped here, so there might still be a little bit of a connection to the karmic situation. How is the karmic situation responding to the spirit, to the masculine? They're, oh, they're still in conflict. So they may still be having some messages back and forth. They may still be having um, a little bit of a pull and a tie here because we have the five of swords. So still conflict, still fighting. And trying to heal this conflict between the two of them because they're not seeing eye to eye on things, right? So the star is reversed right now for masculine. He's not healing fully right now um, in regards to this entrapment. Like he's trying, there he's trying to. This may be somewhat fairly new, and um, there's a lot of still sorting out of energy. So things are healing now. They're starting to heal now. The burdens have been released. Okay, they've been dropped. For the divine feminine, we have the queen of cups here. And the, and the karmic situation sees that. That this situation has completely been dropped because of the feminine. These karmics know about you, feminine. Okay? They know that it's about you and the calling. It's not about anything else. They know. Let's clarify here in regards to the ten of wands being dropped. Look at this. This was the juggling back and forth. What was the juggling for the karmic? <clears throat> Yeah, look at this, the Ten of Pentacles. They were juggling because this was their wish fulfillment, right? But what these karmics don't realize is that it was only a Nine of Cups for them. They have somebody better coming for them, right? They don't realize that this is just their old family patterns that they were trying to build on, right? They're, this is only still just the Nine of Cups. There's something more coming for these karmics. So they were juggling, but they were releasing the burdens of that uh, happiness, that Nine of Cups. Clarify here this nine of cups here with the ten of pentacles Woo! flip this way getting off the path okay they're getting off the page of wands in reverse getting off the spiritual that path whatever that passionate path was yeah it they're not giving six of cups in reverse they're not giving to the situation anymore so why is the karmic fighting in the conflict spirit that they're trying to heal they're fighting because um they know they can't sit here anymore they're no longer investing because their new beginning never took off Okay, so there, that's causing a lot of conflict. How is that healing for the karmic right now, spirit? Self-love. Apologies. So I feel like there's trying to be a type of understanding. We have justice on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so I feel like there has been a decision. Some things have ended. They're in this in-between stage. They're trying to still work out a lot of these energies so I don't see masculines. I feel they want to come forward. I don't think it's going to be anytime soon, you guys. We'll see what the new moon in Scorpio brings up because I'm going to do a reading for that. So make sure you subscribe. And um, yeah, I'm seeing that these masculines are really rising up, which is a good thing, which is a really good thing. All right, I'm going to pause the video and then we're going to come back and we're going to do some healing messages. Okay, stay tuned. 
Okay, guys, so we're going to take a look now at some healing messages. We're going to take a look at divine masculine energy and his vision of how he wants to move forward and the healing messages that are coming through for those divine masculines. Okay. What are we going to use? Yeah, let's take a look at the romance angels. Yeah, let's do several cards here. So, and then we're going to get um, divine feminine's response. Okay, of uh, where her energy is at in regards to them coming together. Okay, so let's take a look here at Divine Masculine Energy, please, Spirit. Let's clear, guys, again. Sorry, that was a lot of karmic stuff, and I can feel the shifts in the energy already. It's like, ugh, hurt my, like, my neck is killing me after that last segment. Um, yeah, let's just clear again. Thank you. Ooh. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's take a look here. What is going on? Some healing messages of where Divine Masculine is moving with this Mars going direct spirit. So yeah, guys, this was mostly a Divine Masculine read. Um, with the new moon in Scorpio, I will get more into Divine Feminine and Masculine and where they're headed. I probably won't do Karma energy in that one. But let's take a look here at Divine Masculine and their vision here, Spirit, and how they want to move towards in love. What is going on with Divine Masculine with this Mars going direct, Spirit? Thank you. What is their vision? Okay. Heart's headspace. Love yourself first. Masculines, thank you. Thank you. Because you come first. You know, no other human should come before you. No, no, no. Look at this soulmate. They want to, they're feeling their divine counterpart here. We also have passion. They want the passion. They want to go away with their divine feminine. Or they want to create a sacred space here, guys, right? Getting away. This is their vision, okay? Let's take a look at, uh, yeah, life journey. Thank you, spirit. And we're going to get some animal too as well. Okay. Perfect. Let's get some life path here. Divine Masculine, his vision spirit, how he's moving forward. Thank you. What is going on with Divine Masculine energy here, how he's moving forward? Thank you, spirit. Some healing messages too for the collective. Thank you. Okay, so he is loving himself first in his headspace. He's also having patience with himself. Beautiful growth into his soulmate connection. Lots of solar plexus stuff, guys, coming through. Lots of solar plexus pride. But the, try to hold that passion back, you guys. Listen, that passion. Whew. And it's, whew, I can't, I can't. I'm tapping into it. It's making me hot. Masculine energy makes me sweat. I can't. <laughs> it's so intense. It's like, wow, that's so bright. It's like, it's not a lustful thing, guys. It's an energy thing, you know? It's like a... Standing, uh, it's like you're standing in the sun and that sun's beating down on you and you get, the, it's like a hot flash, basically. It's, <laughs> it's what it's like. That's not a hot, like, is that a hot flash? All right. And the last one for going away, creating sacred space together, honeymoon. What is this? Having the courage. Look, these masculines are still building up their courage, okay? Did, okay. Masculine energy is still building up. Let's get some light code activations. What is going on? With divine masculine energy here, spirit. Some healing messages. What is moving as masculine moves through Mars going direct? What is their focus? This is their focus. This is their vision, guys. This is their vision. Looks really good. Looks really good. You know, I give you kudos. You masculines doing this work, I give you kudos. Se seriously, you're doing the healing work. I have great honor for men that do this kind of work. Honestly, it is hard work. I honor men that do this work, truly, because um, you're leveling up the collective, you know. There are too many man children. They need to grow up. They need these examples, you know. It's so important. It's so important with where we're going. So I thank you for the men that are watching. I only have like 2% or something of men watching, so thank you. <laughs> All right. Let's take a look here at love yourself first and patience. Divine Masculine, your vision going forward. Ah, ha ha. The seas of Minta Mintaka. Seeing potential and bringing unconsciousness to light. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. 
these masculines, oh, that is beautiful. And what I'm getting from this, you guys, I'm just going to look at this a little bit. They see the potential in everything in loving themselves first, that when they love themselves first and they are patient with themselves, it creates a momentum within them that they have a higher vision. They see the potential. They see where they're actually going. They're getting downloads. They're getting enlightened. They're getting clear. Look how crystal clear that water is. They're bringing the unconsciousness into the light. That's that fire, sun, masculine, raw energy. You know, the illumination of the sun. It's beautiful. It lights everything up. Really beautiful. In the heart space. Look at this. Baby steps again. Divine Masculine knows this is new territory. I got to take it slow. I got to take these little steps, right? I'm actioning. Follow your intuition before it makes sense. Okay? So they're walking through that gate. Look at this 11, 11 portal that we just had. Look, walking through the gate, right? If you haven't looked at the Twin Flame portal reading, take a look at that um, on my channel. Yeah, baby steps in the heart towards their soulmate growth. Know that they're growing towards this, that they're taking those steps. Passion and pride. Look at this, guys. The passion is there, but holding themselves back, right? This is all, this is really beautiful. This is all sacral, sorry, not sacral, solar plexus, self-esteem, confidence. That's what sits in the solar plexus, who you are, who you know yourself to be, not the lies that you've been told in the conditioning, who you are as a soul, right? A lot of twins are star seeds, guys. We're not and we are we are in we were created in a higher frequency usually like eighth dimension and up okay frequencies and you come from other places from other states of consciousness you know other planets um again other planets or other states of consciousness uh this is you know these masculines are really rising up in that self esteem and soul identification not the human identification it's good and look at this this pushes them into courage pushes them into crown chakra stuff beautiful pushes them into creating sacred space for themselves beautiful what about passion here my star seed family what is going on here with passion and pride what is going on here can we have an activation what is going on i think we've got two more all right <clears throat> we have the big picture thinking masculine look at another gateway guys i can't make this up look two gateways here look at that two gateways walking through the gateway okay both kind of like on a cliff as well taking that leap of faith right we have here pleiades energy visionary and inspired ideas so they're getting downloaded with mission with how to move forward how to build forward what their feminines are doing i bet you they're watching their feminines i'm pretty sure mine's watching me hi if you're watching <laughs> Sorry, guys, because I kind of have this feeling that he'll see that. Um, <laughs> big picture thinking. Um, yeah, just getting really inspired by this portal. This is so beautiful. I can't even with that doorway. It's so potent. Holding back the passion because they want to get the whole vision. They want to see it all, okay? Look at... Ah, I love this card, guys. It's happening. Keep holding the vision. We're going to build a new earth, baby. We're going to build a new earth. Look at that. New earth. New earth. New earth living. Guys, it's happening. Keep holding the vision. Oh, my God. Courageous. Creating the safe container. Creating the safe space. Having the courage to do that. Oh, my God. This is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. All right. Let's take a look. We're going to take a look at the energies of divine masculine. We're going to clarify. We're going to see what the feminines want to say in regards to that to this and this will be the reading guys oh this is beautiful energy this is beautiful beautiful energy let me take a sip of water <clears throat> and then gonna pull some animal cards so you guys can look those up as well so you can work with those animal totems as you move forward animals are very important you know the first uh, the oldest consciousness are the plants and the bacteria, right? The second state of consciousness are the animals. We are the last, guys. We ain't the evolved ones. <laughs> the plants and the animals know more than us. All right, let's take a look here. What is going on with masculine energy here with love yourself first? Seeing things clearly, getting codes, getting downloaded, okay? Having patience. Yep, Knight of 
pentacles. This is beautiful. Slow moving. But you know, you want a slow moving, right? All this rush, rush, hush, fast. That's all drama, trauma stuff. You know, this is going slow, being steady, knowing where you're putting each foot, knowing that every step you take is grounded in truth and alignment. And you need that. You need that in your masculine energy, right? You guys, if you're on this twin flame journey, this is not a rush thing to union, okay? This is like getting your consciousness aligned to God. And that it's a slow thing. It's not a fast thing, right? Here, what else we got? We got justice in reverse, slowly moving towards the injustice and through the injustice of this energy towards divine feminine because nine of swords, it's painful. These masculines know the injustice that they've caused it towards their feminine. It's painful. What is this pain here? So they're slowly moving out of it. They're moving through the injustice. They're loving themselves through that because they have to forgive themselves. Because guarantee, if you're watching my channel, you are a feminine that's forgiven your masculine. Okay? But that doesn't mean that you don't have boundaries. Don't forget that, divine feminines. And <clears throat> knowing that you're not going to be as opened. Right? You're going to be like, oh, let me sit with that energy. Let me feel it out. Let me go to God and come back to you, you know? This is the injustice that they're slowly moving through. This is injustice masculines are moving through as they move forward. Yeah, because they want the Ten of Cups, guys. They want the... Look at this. They're ending cycles. They're mo they're ending this injustice, okay? They're going to end it. They're going to make it right. Ending cycles of injustice for this beautiful Ten of Cups. Um, that's really, really beautiful. Okay. Really beautiful. Let's take a look at their growth. I'm going to just keep these cards here and then we'll... Okay, okay. No, spirit's saying, let's clarify. Let's clarify. Let's use the after tarot for divine feminine. How is the divine feminine's energy responding to the masculine's energy here, spirit? What is going on here with divine feminine's response? Thank you, divine masculine's energy. What is Divine Feminine's energy towards Masculine right now as he does this work? Okay, first card out. Oh, we've got quite a bit here. First card out is Nine of Cups in Reverse. She's like, I don't want this in overindulgent stuff either. She's breaking down foundations in her life as well, okay? Becoming untrapped in her own life. Yeah actioning things passionately where things have failed and injustice as well she knows the injustice but she knows that things have failed with her masculine she doesn't care she's moving on from the entrapment she's breaking down whatever those foundations were she's like that's over with i'm done with overindulgence i'm done with this nine of cups i'm done with like ego crap love i'm done with the injustice of stuff i'm moving on in my life look at this I ain't paying attention to this King of Wands in reverse because that's manipulation energy. King of Wands in reverse is like an egotistical player man, you know, and um, thinking like a shit don't stink. <laughs> like, oh, uh, Divine Feminine's like, I ain't dealing with that. That's how she's responding to the masculine right now and saying, I'm not actioning. I'm actioning my life where things have failed. I'm looking at the injustices. If anything, this masculine energy has showed me where I wasn't healed within myself, where there was injustice within myself, and how I actually put up with all this player stuff and stubbornness and control aspects with the divine masculine and i'm not dealing with that i'm ending entrapment and i'm breaking it down so divine feminine is doing the exact same energy okay all right so they're mirroring exactly guys they're mirroring so let's take a look here at growth with the soulmate so divine masculine here is wanting to grow in baby steps taking those baby steps towards uh, the soulmate connection and growing. Clarify here for Divine Masculine, visionary going forward, the energies that are going forward with Aries going direct. Thank you. The one that flipped up is Ten of Pentacles in reverse, okay? So ending family patterns, ending a foundation, ending um, a marriage or a long-term relationship where they were building, starting to build a type of foundation, okay? We also have here Six of Cups, nostalgic about the past. Okay, where are they going to invest? Okay, 
Six of Wands, they have failed as well. Things have failed in their life where they have invested before. Okay. They're also waiting for divine timing. Okay. And we have the Chariot Upright. Okay. So this is really about moving forward quickly, knowing where things have failed, closing off the past, ending old cycles, ending old family, ancestry stuff that, you know, that their family says they're not listening to their family they're listening to themselves they're breaking down foundations they're ending um they're waiting for divine timing they're planting seeds they're looking where they're investing they're moving forward to growing towards their soulmate they're taking these baby steps Woo, guys this is great this is great. And this is the thing. Even if your masculine never shows up, you're feeling the energy. It pushes you. I can't tell you how much masculine energy has come into my life. It's been amazing. It's been amazing. It's been really good. So you're feeling it, Divine Feminines. What is your response here to Divine Masculine as they're growing and taking these baby steps towards growth? <laughs> Y'all want that apology, don't you? <laughs> but you're loving yourself through it. You're moving forward. You're manifesting you're waiting for your ships to come in. You're closed off to this masculine. Whatever you were hanging on to, look at this. You're letting go of control here. Emperor in reverse. The wheel of fortune and the truth. You're looking at the truth. Divine Feminine is responding to self-love. They may be also hanging on to an apology. Like, you got to come right to me. This masculine's upside down. I, I'm waiting for my ships to come in with what God wants to bring in, what spirit wants to bring in for me. I want the truth. I want clear communication, but I'm completely closed off until there is this small offer, right? So feminines have their guards up. Clarify this page of cups for divine feminine. Look at this. Before we can collaborate and decide how we're going to move forward, I want that page of cups. I want that apology. And what is this four of pentacles? Divine feminines closed off to masculine. This is also heart space energy, heart space placement. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing at these cards because, okay. I'm clarifying the four of pentacles, what she's closed off to. She's like, I'm closed off to your, your dark shit, your dark ass shit. I'm closed off to fear. I'm closed off to anything fearful. I'm using my intuition of where you're at, Divine Masculine, and where are you in your heart, okay? I'm closed off to anything fearful in emotions. You ain't going to get a renewal from me if it's going to be fighting, okay? Seven, and defensive energy, and battling it out, and fighting to get to the top. She's not dealing with that kind of energy. She's completely closed off to that energy. She's closed off to fear-based emotions. She's closed off to a masculine that is defensive, who is not going to be vulnerable, and who does not want to have a renewal, like a real renewal of vulnerability. Like crying in your arms with his tail between his, ta between his legs, humbled to the temple. Because, like, that's the thing, you guys. Feminines are a temple. I'm gonna just, and I'm going to say this. I'm like ayahuasca. I may not look so pretty on the outside. I may not taste so good in my words, but damn fucking beautiful on the inside. That's what you're like, Divine Feminines, okay? You may not look the part on the outside. You may not have certain things that this Matrix world tells you what you should be like, but damn, are you friggin' powerful and beautiful on the inside. That's just how it is, man. That's just how it is. All right, I'm going to put some of these cards back because we're we've been pulling a lot, so I can do the last two cards. Okay, um, yeah, so let me just do that quickly, and then this will be the reading, and then I think I was going to pull an animal as well, but yeah, it's getting a little crowded here, and the space is um, small. Sorry, I have limited space in my home, guys, because these children take up everything. All right, <laughs> let's go here to the last half here, okay sip of water we have divine masculine sorry divine masculine here big picture thinking visionary holding back his passion okay because in the past these divine masculines will feel passion and i'm sorry i don't mean to be crude here but basically i want to go <laughs> stick their intentions everywhere basically <laughs> okay it's like it's like you know when you have a teenage boy that's just discovering they're they're going through puberty Kind of like that energy. 
They're growing out of that. They're realizing that they gotta hold that pride back. They gotta temper that lingam, okay? They gotta temper that passion. They gotta see the big picture. They gotta be the visionaries. They have to be inspired and they gotta learn how to contain themselves, okay? That's what masculine energy's gotta do. They gotta know when to put that focus, where to put that drive, where to put that fire energy to build, you know? Very potent energy for Divine Masculine, especially when you're a Divine Masculine. That stuff can manifest super fast, but if it's not in the womb of the feminine to nurture and grow it, well, that's what they're finding out what happened with the karmic, right? Nothing was growing, right? Because Masculines need to have the seeds. They want to know where they're planting those seeds. If it's in a karmic energy, that shit not going not to grow, guys. Not going to grow. Look at this. Three of Wands came out for Masculine waiting ending of burdens releasing burdens okay and waiting for the ships to come in I'll put it back in <clears throat> all right spirit what is going on with masculine energy for aries going direct coming out of retrograde what is this pride about holding back from passion and seeing the big picture here for masculine energy as they're moving forward as mars goes direct queen of pentacles in reverse that is divine feminine energy in the distance stability sad about the divine feminine guys sad about what they've lost with the stability right becoming untrapped in their life okay eight of swords in reverse that king uh, that knight of wands sorry passion clearing up the betrayal okay so here's what i'm saying they're holding back because they know that they betrayed divine feminine they betrayed themselves they betrayed a lot of people in their lives uh, really waking up to this and looking at it and knowing what they've lost. Okay, so they're holding back because they're trying to figure this energy out. Let's clarify the Four of Cups here, Spirit, with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. What are they trying to figure out before they action and cleaning up this betrayal? Yeah, they're hanged, man, because they're walking away from ending um, an illusion. Okay, so... This is clarified by the hangman, the eight of cups, and the seven of uh, cups in reverse. So ending dreams, knowing that their only option is to walk away from karmic situations, and they're, they're in a hangman position because they're gaining enlightenment right now with how to proceed, right? Because that's what I was getting from this knight of wands. Clarify the knight of wands because they want to action, but they're, again, they're in that transitionary piece, right? Yeah, they're they can't. They're reveal they're just revealing things about their feelings about the divine feminine. So they're just coming into a state of awareness right now. They're getting downloads, they're seeing the bigger picture. All right. Let's see divine feminine's response to this energy in her life towards masculine energy. If what's happening, what's how is divine feminine energy responding to the spirit? How is divine feminine energy responding to this? Sorry, I feel like I need to do a quick shuffle. Whew. Clear, please. You. When they feel a little sticky, I guys, I'm so sensitive. I can tell when there's like another, I don't know, <laughs> something that's I don't like in the cards. <laughs> okay, clarify here, divine feminine energy. Thank you towards her response to masculine energy of what he's doing, masculine doing in their life. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Yeah. See, they're closed off right now. Divine feminines are completely happy in their life. I can attest for that. Completely happy, illuminated, but closed off. Okay, closed off because they're learning their lessons and they're following spirit. They're following their alignment. They're following their higher self. They're closed off to this energy. They're waiting for their ships to come in. They know what they want, right? They're waiting. If the mask mode comes back, great, but <laughs> not jumping in because we're closed off, right? this close off energy it has to be again we had let's clarify the the four of pentacles so feminines are really closed off yeah they want honesty this one flipped around ah uh, chariot listen seven of swords and refers deception they want the damn truth before they move forward and when they get the truth they will this chariot goes very quickly yeah we can take off now but come right right come right all right. So masculine still sorting stuff out, right? Still figuring that out. So getting downloads, getting the big picture before they act. So they're not actioning anything right now. It's not what I was, I was getting that as well. 
So here they're building up their courage, you guys, to create a new earth with the Divine Feminine. Love this card. This card is awesome. Um, and creating a safe container to be with Divine Feminine. Okay. Let's clarify this masculine building up the courage here, spirit for a new earth. This is the outcome that they're working towards. Love how that landed. Ah, the lovers. Yeah. The lovers. Yeah. Look at the separation still happening. So we have four swords healing. Okay. But they're not wavering. They know how they want to move forward. So they see things very clearly of how they're going. They've made the decision on this lover's card. Okay. And making a decision on this high potency love connection. Okay. They know that they want the courage. They know the separation. Clarify the separation here. The four of swords, please, spirit. Yeah, they're looking at their fears about returning, okay? So they are a little bit fearful. We have the moon. They're using their intuition. They are a bit fearful of returning. Five of Pentacles in reverse, but they do want to return. They want to come out of the cold. Look at this, Two of Cups! Oh, guys. They want to see eye to eye. They're seeing eye to eye. They're seeing eye to eye to, towards the feminine, okay? But they're still afraid. What are they afraid of? Masculine's afraid, this moon here about offering what they're going to offer they don't know what are they going to offer what do they not know queen of swords energy how are they going to make this work this queen of swords is feminine being very clear <laughs> usually that's my karmic card but it's upright as well spirits like saying it's actually feminine energy because the masculine knows that she's got a sword there can cut his throat anytime <laughs> don't do it feminines be nice okay just be nice they're soft. They're softer than us. Okay. Just remember that the men are softer than us. Okay. You can't be too much thunder. Let's clarify this queen of swords. Oh God. I feel like using my guy knees. Oh my God, beta. Poor baby. <laughs> queen of swords. Then poor Pickney. Oh my God. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? <laughs> Caribbean accent. Um, yeah. See, this is this is also okay i'm getting two messages they know they have to come clear but this is also they're working on offering something to some of them they have to offer something to the karmic energy okay that's the tower it's bringing everything down five of swords and their guard is up okay so this is also this is what i'm getting if you're dealing with a karmic situation spirit is saying they're still working out that situation. So there's still a lot of tower moments happening. There's still a lot of breaking down of stuff and their guard is completely up before they can come and offer anything. They want to return, but their fears are that there's so much conflict right now that they can't do that. Okay. That's one situation it can be a combination of the two. The next situation spirit is saying, if it's not dealing with the karmic and some of them are really close to coming forward and things have ended a, a, a while back and things are cleaning up, they're in conflict because they've been so defensive that when they come forward, it may create a tower moment in the divine feminine's life coming with this offer because they don't want to disrupt the life, right? But also realize divine masculines, you're also using that as an excuse because you're still building up courage, right? You're still trying to get to this courageous place. So... Be careful with that energy as well. Okay, so they're still in that back and forth. So let's take a look at Divine Feminine's response to that. Oh, she is the Queen of Swords, so spirits <laughs> come clean. Come clean. Look at that sword. Don't make me stick that sword in you. All right, come clean. She's gone within. Okay, she's not offering anything unless it's truth, clear communication. She will pull back. She will not offer a damn thing. Okay. So that's how feminine energy is responding to that. All right. Last section. Last section. Let's do it up, guys. Lots are coming through. So I usually don't put the cards back. But I kind of want to make sure that we're getting everything that we need. So let's take a look at the last Oh, that was the last. What am I doing? That was the last one. Why am I thinking that I need to do this one again? Let's pull a little bit extra, guys, because I feel like there's still unfinished business with this courage. Of, yeah, Spirit wants me to focus on the courage. There's something about this courage. So I'm going to clear this up because this is just this. Spirit's bringing up an extra message here. 
That's what happens. That's what happens. Spirit's saying there's something about this mission here that's really causing a lot of fear about this new earth. And it may be that these masculines aren't quite ready to step fully uh, and people seeing them as these super spiritual awakened beings, you know, because they haven't been that in their life. You know, it's a different, it's a different persona, you know, to the ego, right? So it's hard. It's hard. Like guys, I understand that completely. I, I didn't want to do this. I was a businesswoman. I, <laughs> I ran projects across Canada. You think I wanted to do this for the federal government? Like I was very analytical, you know, anyways, let's take a look here. If anything, I know how to run a business. <laughs> oh, it was my training. All right, let's see. What is this courage and this fear here with Divine Masculine? Let's go deeper, Spirit, because, yeah, look at this. The conflict, the Five of Swords flipped up. So there is more conflict. What is this conflict? They wanted me to focus on this a little bit more. There's still a, something about entrapment here that's happening for Divine Masculines, okay? There's still something entrapped uh, in regards to ending this re a relationship. So... This is still weighing heavy on the masculines, okay? So Spirit wanted to bring up that extra message here before they have the courage to come forward. Clarify these two cups in reverse. Yeah, look at this. Eight of cups, they're walking away, okay? That's why the Knight of Wands is here, guys, okay? Seven of cups in reverse. So they're seeing clearly they've walked away, but they're still coming out of an entrapped place and this conflict. So it's going to take a little time. I, I believe spirit just wanted to say that to some of you, you know, they want the victory. They want to win at this. And the victory is like, you've gone through the darkness and now you're winning in life. You know, you've paid your dues. You've walked through those dark tunnels. You've realized, you know, that this is your prize at the end. So they know that they're going to build the courage up to that, but they're still dealing with healing this uh, karmic situation and old relationships. Yeah, they want to, they're coming, look, they want to be out of pain. Nine of Swords with, sorry, the Queen was upright with the Queen of Pentacles. They want to come out of pain before they approach the feminine. Okay. Okay, guys, let's do some animal uh, messages. One for Divine Masculine, one for Divine Feminine. These animals that are coming out, I'm connecting now to the animal realm spirit. Please bring in the animals. Thank you. I see a whole bunch. If you guys want to know my um, Aztec, I'm a moon dancer, so I do moon dances as well. I did my first moon dance. I love it. Oh, my God. Never thought that I would enjoy not eating for four days and dancing all night and doing two Temescals a day, but <laughs> love it. Uh, my totem is a jaguar. So I am a black jaguar. I have had a fascination with black cats my entire life. So it makes complete sense. So I see in the dark, they're the most psychic ones. And so these animals, I'm calling them in right now. They usually come, the spirit of the animals come around me. I want you to uh, focus on these animals, okay? For your masculine energy and your feminine energy on the inside. Research them. Spirit is saying this is very important until we come into the new moon of Scorpio, which will be another reading. Spirit says we may pull another animal card for that to show you another animal to work with. But for now, to balance, this is what's going to come through for you guys. All right. Feminine energy you are to work with. The animal of the nightingale oh it's beautiful they sing okay she's in the dark she sings her bright song in the middle of the dark and the nightingale is like standing on this beautiful world so feminine energy using your intuitive creative abilities tapping into life force creative energy singing dancing creating music guys i can't live without music cannot i have to i played guitar before i did this session to be to to be honest um and just really being in in your light in the midst of the dark singing your song no matter how dark it is okay that's feminine energy and masculine you are to work with this week the horse beautiful horses are amazing and i'm just going to bring up uh, something with my twin flame and he told me he's like don't put a saddle on me i will buck i love it i love the freedom i will buck masculines want to be free and look at this with the with the moon with the feminine in their third eye using their intuition knowing that they're trusted like this is beautiful right 
the moon is in their third eye, trusting the feminine energy to guide them in their intuition to move towards it. As feminine energy is singing the song in the midst of the darkness, it is pulling the masculine home with his intuition with the horse. Ugh. Beautiful reading, guys. Beautiful reading. Would love to hear your comments. Don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys so much. If you want to work with me, all that info information is down below. I love you guys so much, love. Talk to you soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.